over 80% of the SEAL candidates fail. Right? People who come to, Navy, uh, to SEAL fit training and learn the big four, and they hear lectures and people like uh, other coaches like Coach Price and myself saying, this is not about the lecture. It's not about understanding this conceptually. It's about training it, drilling it, day in and day out as part of your integrated training plan. So day in and day out for the rest of your life, we're not just encouraging, but demanding that you, <laughs> as much as we can, because you're in control, of course, that you practice breath control, that you practice the process of positivity by feeding Courage Wolf, that you practice visualization, and you practice task orientation. Always being able to answer, why am I doing this? What's the next best action that I can take to lead me toward victory? You practice it. You practice it in your morning ritual. You practice it in your evening ritual. You practice it throughout the day. And in that practice, you lead, it leads you to mastery of those skills so that you can use them effortlessly when the challenge comes. And so anyways, SEAL, can, seal fit trained SEAL candidates have a 90% success rate. 90%. And it's because of these skills. Because when they show up, right, they're like, breathe. <laughs> I got this. Easy day. I can see the win. Also, they know what's coming because they've experienced some of what's coming. So they've got a mental image of success in a high stress, physical, mental environment with people who look a lot like buzz instructors. Interesting, huh? So they're able to to take the skills that they have and apply them to focusing on their teammates to help their team get through. That's an important skill for emotional um, strength. So in those dark night of the soul moments, they're like, okay, I gotta help my teammates out. You know, we're all suffering here. People who haven't learned that, quit. People who haven't learned how to control their mind and emotions, they quit or they get hurt. And usually the injuries are related to quit thinking. We call them quinjuries. It manifests as a result of negative thinking. Interesting, huh? So I've always said, you know, if, if this stuff works so well in the most demanding physical, mental, emotional training in the world, imagine what it could do for you.